about to drive one of these. We need to push yeah. so we're safe. Yeah. You get me? Uh, uh, He's um, been the fastest at like every single race we've done so far, so I'm just putting that out there. Cheers, dude. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. It's true. <laughs> you're my favorite Canadian. Thanks, man. You're my favorite European. <laughs> oh, good That's continents now, are we? Oh, <laughs> And I think we're here till tomorrow, I don't know, tomorrow night or the next morning, I don't know. But apparently we got briefed to pack some stuff in our backpacks and I've forgotten everything, so I've got no code. Obviously we left the campsite yesterday and we had a chilled day, so it was nice to recuperate. I've actually tried practicing for the FIA Motorsport Games, which is straight after World's Fastest Gamer didn't go well unfortunately I can't get the wheel to work in America I don't think the power sockets are the same so uh, my adapters doesn't seem to give the power to the wheel so I lose force feedback but uh, today at Laguna again we're just doing interviews today actually um, I'll ask and see if we can get some b-roll of the interview room it's very cool uh, there's a Mustang in there and I can't wait to see the interview in the, the series they're doing for the production of World's Fastest Gamer Season 2 uh, what I think we're doing I don't know uh, I believe we're going to San Francisco so there might be a sim race in uh, San Fran and then we're driving from San Fran to Vegas and then that's going to be like a 10 hour trip so maybe in the middle I can see us stopping at Auto Club and using the NASCAR and then finally the, fi the, the final four because two get eliminated tomorrow there's six of us left and two get eliminated tomorrow we end up in Vegas and we end up competing for the final prize so whether there's a race or a qualifying I don't know but we'll uh, have to wait and see uh, I'm feeling good and I just need to maintain this feeling until Tuesday. As I was saying about Laguna the other day, uh, basically the Biospa was all the way to the front all day, locking up all day. It was a scrappy day. I had a couple of spins, especially down the corkscrew. So I spun, went down the corkscrew backwards and I looked up and I thought, if the car comes around now, I'm screwed because they can't see me and they would have just gone plummeting over the corkscrew into my car and that would not have gone down well with the judges. So lucky escape there and then four laps to go uh, with four laps to go in Laguna, I got told the bias bar was so far to the front, like maximum to the front, that they sorted it out and I went back out again and it felt like Willow Springs. It felt like the car was beneath me, I could control it and I was pushing to the limit and it was fine, you know? So I had four decent laps of Laguna, so not the best of days, but I still ended up second quickest, I believe, behind Mitchell de Jong. I mean, all things considered, I think that's not too bad. I showed cracks in myself, the fact that I spun. Maybe I should have signalled that uh, the brake bias was wrong earlier. I did vent the concern. Uh, my instructor said it would be fine. So yeah, just a bit of a miscommunication there. Sunday, uh, the two days before the final, we're here at San Francisco and I'm looking at Alcatraz as I speak. Two looks so cute right now. So today we're heading down to Vegas for the final. The four of us, because two got eliminated last night. That was uh, Erhan and Aurelian. 
Unlucky Swan, the only orange member remaining, and uh, we're going through Yo Yomis, I can never say it, Yosemite, that's it, Yosemite Park, which is an enormous park in America, and uh, check the view, I mean that is probably the view of the trip, that's just incredible, and I think there's more coming up as well, I heard this is like one of the better ones, but there's better ones than this, so yeah, it's going to be a, a 9 or 10 hour drive today, but it's worth it, absolutely worth it. I can't believe I've won World's Fastest Gamer Season 2. Uh, for your hero, Juan Pablo Montoya, since I was four I've been supporting the guy and then he gives you the trophy that changes your life. Uh, going from a gamer to a racing driver, hopefully for a long period of time as well. If I can make it work, I, I can't believe it. I, I really can't believe it. So the coaches from the day dot were good, like they really taught you how to drive the car. Doreen, I had her from the start and I've been with her since the end and she really understood me and got me faster. Juan Pablo, Rubens, they all helped to get me on the pace today, which helped uh, me get the win in World's Fastest Gamer. Um, the competitors, uh, you wouldn't think I'd be talking nicely about them after a two week like battle with them, but we got on so well. We were laughing most of the time, um, and I I'm gutted for them that they couldn't win because everyone was so close in the end that that we all deserve to win and Darren Cox said himself we're the best four he's seen in all of this competition so it's a, it's a shame we've all come at once if we were spread across his other events then maybe it would have worked out differently but yeah everyone and world's fastest gamer of course organizing it that's an unreal job so I'm, an, I'm honored to be part of it let alone win it I've, well, I mean since I was eight I wanted to be a racing driver so uh, I had the, the experience for two races when I was 16 and then it got kind of taken away for good, I thought that was it, and then now I'm going to be a racing driver again in 2020. I, yeah, I can't say how much. The two weeks has been 
unforgettable. Like, you know, we've seen so many views, driven so many cars and so many tracks, met so many people that you'll just never forget. I mean, you do it so fast that some things you do forget, but we've got photos and videos, so I can't wait to look on the plane back and just reminisce on what just happened because it's been relentless. So, yeah, I need some time off just to think how good this was. So, uh, yeah, I won World's Fastest Gamer, basically. It's cool, isn't it? Uh, racing Aston Martins in 2020. Boom. Jesus. Can't go over that. Uh, I'm now at the airport the evening of the day, going to Italy to compete in the FIA Motorsport Games, which will be a whole new video altogether. So I had no practice whatsoever. Um, and I'm going to be jet lagged, so uh, don't expect big things, but you never know what can happen. Uh, but I've got some leftover dollars from America. I've got quite a few actually. So um, I suppose when you're flying from Vegas, there's only really one way you can get rid of them. And that is on the slot machine. An important lesson there, my dad once told me, the slot machine always wins, even though he still plays me. It's the ironic thing there. But um, that wraps up this vlog for World's Fastest Gamer. What a journey. The, yeah, the best two weeks of my racing career, without a doubt. So many views, so many tracks, so many cars, so many people, so many heroes met. And yeah, I still can't quite go over what's happened already, but um, thank you all for watching the video. Uh, hopefully it's gave you an insight of what it was like from my point of view. Uh, obviously it's not going to replicate my feelings and some of the feelings I've had. I mean, I mean it's the first time I've cried in a racing situation, so yeah. Yeah, still a bit emotional to be fair. Still a bit emotional, but um, yeah, as I say, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but until the next video, I'll see you soon.